What's up, YouTube? Welcome to All Through Garage, and welcome to the series, Is It Worth It? I am going to be talking about one of my favorite car brands, Porsche. So stay tuned throughout the whole video, and I really appreciate it, and thank you for your support. As you can see with these 996s, they are legendary, well-balanced cars, but they does, you know, have their pros and cons, um, rather styling or mechanically. Now, the main problem everybody complained about was the headlights, which... I don't see as a problem. They look pretty cool. I know the headlight got updated um, like another time. Um, but overall, the style of the car is very great. Now, the mechanical issues, you have board scoring. Also, you have heads cracking. And also, you had the IMS bearing issue. Also, you had the interior, which aged quite a bit now the main complaints was cheap plastics everything cracking everything sticky and that was like the main issue uh, with the car but i like the interior of the car also love the gauge cluster the five gauges look pretty damn legendary um and i i wouldn't complain and also the key in the left side phew, badass as you can see this is the car right here off the facebook market now this is a 1999 uh carrera base but they seem to have a turbo bumper on the front of it because the 1999 carrera base was just um much smoother the bumper was much smoother compared to this one which is much bulky uh overall the color of this car is immaculate uh gray and black and this is a pretty cool uh color i like the bronze uh wheels I uh, like the combination of it. Um, after looking at the market for these cars, especially going from, you know, the base all the way to like the GT2s, uh, these cars holding up the value like mid high teens. I say around like 17, you know, the 33 for the, you know, base, depending on the mileage. And like I said, the trims, the prices are going to go up and up uh, just depending uh, of the history of the car uh, too. Uh, now this is the interior of the car it's a five speed of uh, tronic um look pretty uh decent and good um it looked like you got a little you know missing parts wear and tear you got your back seats which i'm pretty sure you're not gonna put nobody in but a book bag now this is the flat six right here um i think these it was a water cool normally i just aspirated and also you had like 296 uh horsepower and then 258 pounds for the torque so guys however this porsche do have a savage title back in 2012 it did had an electrical short up front under the hood and the hood has been replaced which looks pretty cool uh, the car has 77,000 miles and it also have a manual transmission silver and black interior exterior man the thing is looking immaculate especially outside especially the brown the bronze wheels man badass now the guy ain't really a porsche guy and he thinks the car you know holds a great uh history and he really don't have time for the car now this is a regular porsche like a base car it ain't like a turbo or a gt so he asking for 16 uh thousand about 16 700 for it now with the savage title i would say around like 10 to 12k but i might be low balling myself so in between i would go between 14 and 15. but after looking at the market for these cars these cars have been holding a great great value to be honest uh, especially with the different uh, level of trims and stuff it, the price has been up there like these cars holding up um and they getting a recognition and they are pretty cool like they some pretty cool cars i think so and i will plan on owning one honestly um but i think if i do i just have to look at this you know maintenance history make sure uh, that i miss got upgraded or little stuff like that but it was like 10 percent 10% chance of you having that type of issue and especially depending how you're driving the car now if you princess in this car and you you know changing the oil periodically like it's pretty it, it'd be a pretty reliable car any time of the day but y'all let me know y'all price range of this car with the savage title 
should a guy sell it for 16k or you know i mean his it's his car he can sell it for how much he won't and i'm pretty sure it'd be a buyer out there to buy it around that price and it'd probably be somebody who be trying to you know lower it. um but i don't know i'm gonna stay looking at this car see how much it will uh you know sell for and more likely if it's sent for a period of time people will like try to drop the price on it but um I think that would be pretty much it for this video. Don't want to talk your head off, but if you stayed this far, I appreciate you a lot and uh, thank you. Um, like I said, let me know the price range y'all think about this car. And do y'all think the 996 is a, like a great platform? Is it underrated? Y'all let me know. And I think that would be pretty much it. See you.